For our next guest, Howard and Pat London, dealing with the loss of their dog inspired them to love again and write a children's book based on getting their new dog lucky. Macy Stays with the Houston Humane Society is also with us. Good morning. Good morning. You were saying we always watch the show every morning. Well, today you can't watch because you're on it. <laughs> <laughs> we're recording it. <laughs> yeah, oh, there you go. All right. Uh, it, it, it was a story of grief, you know, but sometimes in your, in your darkest times you prepare for the light. And so you had your Australian Shepherd, Bordy Collard, Border Collie mix. Uh, you had that dog for 10 years, and then when he passed away. Oh, we cried. Yeah. We cried. They're I still members get of the emotional family. about it. Yeah. And so you can't necessarily <coughs> replace that pet, but you can replace kind of that hole in your heart. How long did it take before you decided to step out and get another dog? Well, a lot of people take a break when they lose a pet. Mm -hmm. And we talked about it, but we decided the best thing we could do was to adopt another dog that we could give love to. <clears throat> because these other dogs, you know, they're lonely, they're abandoned, yeah. and we felt that we should go to the shelter and we should share our home and give a good life to another dog. Yeah. Two weeks. Yeah, two, two weeks, weeks. <laughs> two weeks. All right. As, and you, the yeah. answer. You know, it's funny when you when you go there, you walk down, and you can always kind of sometimes, sometimes, sometimes you don't, but you pick out, oh, that that must be mixed with this, that that must be this breed, that must be mixed with this breed. Um, you found a poochie pug, which I don't think it's registered. Like the AKA yeah, registered. No, yeah. Okay. Yeah, no. <laughs> what do you mean by Poochie Pug? Well, we, of course, we knew that he was a mix of some sort, but we didn't know what exactly. So we did a DNA test, mm -hmm. and it came back that he is 42% small poodle, he's 32% chihuahua, and he's 26% pug. So what he has is the small poodle body, uh -huh. he has a chihuahua head, he has pug ears and neck. And a mohawk. In a mohawk. Yeah. That's right. That's right. Oh. So I think he's one of a kind. But yeah. if there are any other poochie pugs out there, we'd love to meet you. Okay. Yeah. Okay. yeah. And, and let's start a new breed. Right. Exactly. All right. Uh, and, and, and poor Lucky came with some, you know, it's funny, the name is almost an oxymoron mm -hmm. in the beginning. It was Lucky. Lucky that someone adopted him that loved him. Mm -hmm. But had a series of problems. Well, yes. we found out immediately that he had heartworm disease. And we found out that it is curable if it was early stage. Yeah. And we decided that we would work with the Humane Society Clinic in order to get him cured. But it would take about a year before we would know that he was really cured of the disease. Yeah. And when we found out a year later that he was cured, it was one of the happiest days of our lives. Ah, indeed yeah. lucky. Macy, the fact of the matter is, by the time a lot of animals do make it into the shelter, yeah. they are dealing with a lot of things. A lot of times they've been on the streets for a while or mm -hmm. people just haven't been able to take care of them. Mm -hmm. But you will help us. If we will take that animal into our home and they have any issues, you will help us mitigate that. Yeah, we have a great program called the Heart Room Treatment Fund, um, the Have a Heart Fund, if you will, mm -hmm. where people can actually donate so that we can sponsor the heart room treatment of those dogs who need to be adopted so that maybe if that daunting cost is just not something you can cover as you bring a new pet home no worries we can help you yeah we know a lot of people will say oh we got to find a breeder because we want but you can find such wonderful animals I know all my dogs for the most part have been strays and so when you come into the Humane Society yes. when you've seen where these have been some of the most lovable I almost feel like a lot of stray animals feel like they know that they were given away or oh for or, sure right? and yeah. then they're like, please, please take me. I'm going to be good. <laughs> yes, absolutely. I have seen the sweetest faces with the sweetest souls walk through our doors and get a, a second chance. And it's such rewarding work. Adopting is so rewarding. Please consider it. Yeah, and give people an idea of the pressure that all of our shelters and foster groups are under. This is an unprecedented time for animal welfare, and especially in the Houston space. Um, our current climate does promote year-round breeding. Um, so please, if you have a pet, spay neuter. Please microchip your animal. It's microchip month. We have a great special going on at the Houston Humane Society where you can get that done for a little to, to no cost. Um, and our shelters are full, max capacity. Mm. Um, we are currently trying our best to do everything we can to get these animals into responsible homes. But without your help and choosing to adopt rather than to buy, we're playing a losing game. We yeah. need we need the help of our community. Yeah. All right. KHAU just got through with our book drive to get books in the homes of, of yes. kids, and they always love the books about pets and books that teach great lessons. What's the lesson that you hope people learn from Lucky the Poochie Pug? Not only the kids can learn, but also their parents when they read the book to well, them. Well, there are four lessons, at least. The first one is that when you lose your pet, when your pet goes over the Rainbow Bridge mm. and you're grieving, 
and you're really crying every day, the best thing you could do is give love and adopt another pet. It's a great form of That's therapy. the best thing that you could do yeah. as quickly as you can. Yeah. And second message is that when you go to a shelter, they're not perfect. They've been abandoned. They're unhappy. Yeah. But who they, is perfect? Let's put it that way. Exactly. Who is yeah. perfect? Yeah. So when you adopt a dog from the shelter, you're really doing a, a great deed because you're bringing the dog into a loving home, hopefully a forever home. We're out of time. You're going to have to read the book if you want the other two lessons, but all <laughs> the lessons right. are good. But thank you, too, for reaching out to us thank and you. coming on. Thank you, Lucky. Yes. And from the sale of the book, proceeds uh, go. Proceeds are going to the Humane Society ah, from the sale of nice. the book. Nice. And like, yay, all right, yeah. okay. <laughs> if you would like to get a copy of Lucky the Poochie Pug or to connect with Lucky, visit our website, greatdayhouston.com. Bye, Lucky. Have a great day. Well, I keep expecting so Lucky to, to respond. Okay. <laughs> our next guest and his friend.